I've never seen you before, and I really don't like your face. I would change it for you for free. Maybe then your luck would change. Joseph F. Rideshare drivers think part of the job is to put up with disrespect. Lots of drivers. Some riders think puking in folks' cars are just part of the trade. Yeah, that's it's definitely not part of the trade. I'll tell you that. Like, it hardly ever happens to me. And since I stopped driving at night, never happens. JNM, JZ. JNM is pricing you out of your ass you would have you would have been better off getting your own motor and letting them put it in for you the reason i didn't do that jay is uh this motor like i've seen everything from every step of the process i'm, I'm definitely getting my money's worth um joseph f lyft does not pay here that's the truth uber i made 1300 1400 a week lyft I do more trips and fight for 800. Jay said, I only leave negative comments because Dave hates me anyway. All that porn star pussy has gone to your brain, bruh. Crystal Lee, if there's a posting that says no stopping, then don't stop to pick up or drop off. Make their asses walk to you in a safe place. <laughs> Some passengers make requests for the most ignorant places. The middle of a bridge, a traffic island in the center of a busy street, the elevated train, exit stairs, for Christ's sake. Yes, all of these requests have come to me. It's not worth it. A $100 ticket for a $6 fare? Yeah, seriously. Hope you got the cleaning fee. No, I didn't. I just started then, so I didn't even know how to do a cleaning fee yet. Ignore the haters, bud. Keep up the great videos. Thanks, Bob Ass. That's not smart to accept packages. What if you're sending drugs or package damage and blame on you? Congratulations. Well, that's actually the cool thing. As an Uber driver, if you do take a package uh, without a passenger, um, technically, like, you could just keep it. Like, they literally have no recourse. They're not responsible. There's no insurance for your package. Nothing. Um, oh, also, business law. So I took business law in college. Uber has the records of the person that's ordering the, the trip. So let's say there were drugs in the package and you got caught, okay, with these drugs. All you have to do is say, oh, this is an Uber trip. Like, he, he just handed me this, and now I'm taking it to the destination. So, like, I didn't even know what was in it. And that absolves you from any responsibility. What if they're, like, stolen drugs? Yeah. You know, the, the taking package things, it doesn't seem like a good idea. Look at the person you're taking the package from and decide from there. No help you. Don't give the haters any attention ever. I told you you should not have used Mac Miller's name in your title that one time, but that doesn't mean I am a hater, or else I wouldn't watch your videos. Keep up the great work, homie. I used his music in that video. The music for that whole video was the last thing that he posted on um, Instagram Live, I believe it was. I actually lost someone really important to me to an overdose. Uh, a family member you know anytime something like that happens you know an OD of especially like I mean anybody really but there's just something about artists like this keeps happening to artists 
the person that my family lost was anytime something really tragic happens I suddenly get the urge to be creative and so like that the video with Mac Miller in it like that was me just kind of expressing myself I, I've watched that video like so many times like I just love that video who had the biggest loss here? His family, okay? The people that loved him. Like, they want, just like I'm celebrating him, that's what I think they'd like to see everybody do. I wouldn't be surprised if you commit suicide one of these days. You just seem so unhappy. Salax Sheno, you are a bad Uber driver. You deserve one star. Uber should fire me, all this stuff. And one thing that I think those people don't realize is that I've done 10,000 trips. Now, I don't know how many videos I have where I kicked somebody out of the car or something went wrong and it just didn't go well. But notice the timestamps on those. Notice the improvement in my customer service. A couple years ago when I first started driving Uber, I had just been coming out of like terrible back pain. And I was still taking like a lot of medications. I do a lot of trips and most of them you don't see on my channel. So I have a really high rating and that's because I think I'm actually a pretty good riding, uh, a pretty good Uber driver. Oh, Genjoy or Genjoy, my bad. Damn, I thought you actually met up with a hater. That's the clickbait, meaning like it's in the future. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I totally meant to be deceiving like that. <laughs> Sorry. Good job. Good job owning up at the end of the video. I drive too, and it definitely gets easier to let things like that go. Thanks, yeah. I mean, see, that's really what I'm trying to do with these videos, is I want people to see, like, what it's like to be an Uber driver, so that when they go to be an Uber driver, they're not like shocked by these things. The people at the pizza on my seat, I was a little bit, like that hurt. Like that seriously hurt. Like I had just gotten a ticket. I sensed that I should just drop these passengers off, passengers off in the middle of the hood. And you know what? I just did my job. And you're not expecting something like that. It can really affect you. Anybody that wants to be an Uber driver, they can see the stress and the drama that I go through and know that it's coming or, and, and even look out for it, you know, and, and maybe do something to prevent it from happening. Peter Dawson, not the right job for you, mate. Okay, so Ryan Guy says, for my engine, too many man hours. Never would I, would I have had them rebuild. Either should have ditched it or got an already rebuilt motor or used motor. If the word that comes after A starts with a vowel, A-E-I-O-U, or the vowels, you put an, A-N. Like that's something you learn in like first grade or something. What I'm going to have after spending $5,000, and by the way, that's that's how much this is costing is 5000 so far. My engine is now starting from zero miles and also like... I don't have to worry how the person before me treated the car and hopefully this engine will be like the engine that's in my Honda Civic Hybrid that I bought new and that car has 300,000 miles on it right now and it still runs like brand new. It seems that you're not really keeping your thoughts to yourself though. Isn't it kind of hypocritical to tell me that? Billy Repo. I don't know why these videos keep coming up on my homepage. I really don't know why I watched it either. <laughs> I didn't even realize you were a driver. I really thought you were making a comeback. Oh, I really thought you were making a coming out of the closet video wearing your favorite jacket. That diesel jacket's like 500 bucks. Uber is a joke and would never consider using it. You brought every bit of that situation on yourself and kept bringing up your stupid ticket. Any normal guy would have simply asked to see their boobs for a few seconds as a morale booster. 
I've never seen you before, and I really don't like your face. I would change it for you for free. Maybe then your luck would change. James, a.k.a. Jim Jones Wolf. Only one reason why I accepted it was because it was a long trip. Yeah, I probably would have accepted, yeah, a long trip, even though it's a package or, or a part. Like, yeah, I probably would have taken it too, you know. I love those long trips. The only issue, the account holder put the wrong address. I get to the drop-off. The place was closed and nobody there. First 15 minutes, I get no response from the account holder. Then, he finally calls back saying someone is on their way. Guy doesn't get there till, till 40 minutes. He says to me, he told the company where to deliver the part multiple times and do not deliver to the construction office. So he says the plumbing part company was shady. They pulled a fast one on me by being cheap, purposely putting the wrong address in and forcing me to wait and make the construction people just meet me. Because he didn't want to pay for me to drive it further another 25 miles. Well, during all this, I didn't end the trip. I kept the app going and drove around the block hella times. They screw the driver, I screw them back. Accompanied with a one star, ha ha. Good one, James. Let's see what they got at Fry's. Deals of the day. Whoa. talking about Forgot. they want to use a few seconds of my video in the project and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it you know because when I got permission from the people in the video I got permission to put them on YouTube not to sell the video to a production company so then I looked at the the portion of video that they were going to use and I was like, oh, that's no big deal. It's all good. Plus I got solid permission from those people. So look, they're, they're repeating the parking lot. I'm going to go to the drive through right here. This is sketchy. There's like a game right here. Whoa, I almost fell. Look at the game. It's laying on the floor. I just made the cards go everywhere. You know, I just started my channel and I already got to sell a video. Yeah, it's unbelievable to me. But you know, when I get the check, then we'll celebrate, okay? They said it's gonna be about a month. All right, I'm gonna go in here and get some food. They didn't say you're welcome for holding the door for them, so I'll just cut in line. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Um, I want to get a number one. It's time to eat. right now to watch the Dodger game. This one's important. This guy here. Look at this little project right here. That looks fucking cool. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good. Hey, it's okay. What's up, dude? What's up? Oh, yeah. He's freaking out. Hey. The Dodgers won! Can't celebrate yet though because um, series is in over. <laughs>